Okay, folks. Hi there. I've got a great topic for you today. And this one is called Five Online Business Models That Go ka in the Night. Yeah, love this one. And I'm Kim Willis, and welcome. Here's the first one. Affiliate marketing. Oh yeah, affiliate marketing. Millions of people all over the world are signed on as affiliate marketers. A lot of people have heard about it. What are your options? What are your affiliate marketing options? Well, you've got well, you've got digital or physical products. You can market either or both. Now, if we're talking digital, think ClickBank, JVZoo, Warrior Plus. They're the, they're the platforms that handle a lot of these digital products. They don't create the products themselves, but they handle them. Uh, so we have on, on one side, we've got a, a publisher or a product developer. He or she then offers to use offers the product to ClickBank or JVZoo or Warrior Plus. And because these companies have such a big network of affiliates, they can promote it on their platform and some affiliates will sell it. The affiliates get a commission. So you would be an affiliate and you would get a commission. So if you're with ClickBank, for instance, the commission is, is typically going to be somewhere between 75 sorry 50 and 75 percent jvzoo warrior plus similar okay now these are digital products so what are we talking about well ebooks reports software courses they tend to be in the lower price range under a hundred dollars often under fifty dollars okay so the commission percentages are high 50 to 75 percent but we're dealing with small ticket products, or you're dealing with small ticket products. So, you know, in dollar terms, the commission, typical commission, might be twenty dollars. Could be twenty-five or thirty dollars. It might only be if there was an opening offer, uh, a front-end offer. It might only be eight dollars or something like that. And uh, usually, there's an upsell, uh, back-end offer. But of course, if the customer doesn't take up the upsell offer, you're not going to make any extra commission. You'll be just making the eight dollars or whatever it happens to be. But you know, millions of uh, people all over the world, as I said, are signed on as affiliates, and a lot of those people are marketing digital products through these three platforms. They are probably the market leader. Certainly, ClickBank they've been doing it the longest, and yeah, they're a very big organisation. So you can set up an account with ClickBank free doesn't cost you anything there's no buy-in required and you can sign on as affiliate of course if you don't know how to generate traffic and leads and all the rest of it well <laughs> you're not going to be able to do much with your clickbank uh, account same comments apply re the other two as well so yeah you've got to you've got to have some kind of a um, a strategy a marketing strategy and so to say that, well, okay, you can sign on with ClickBank for free isn't really the full picture because the reality is you're probably going to have to invest in some training. Um, maybe you'll need to learn how to develop uh, funnels, etc., capture page funnels, how to get traffic, how to get opt-ins, all of that. So there's a whole learning process that you'd need to go through because these companies will not be able to help you. Although ClickBank do have a university thing, but uh, I've been through that. It's kind of marginal. Physical products. That's another the other opportunity for affiliate marketers. And uh, you can think Amazon. There are other examples, but certainly Amazon, well, I think now they represent the, the bull in the China shop. <laughs> okay, so it's funny how Amazon started out as a bookseller and now they're just selling all sorts of things, including groceries. Now, um, not that I don't think you get commission for promoting the grocery service. You, you may, I don't know. I'm, I'm not an Amazon affiliate, but the uh, I am a ClickBank affiliate and JVZoo and Warrior Plus, and I've made money with all three of those platforms. But Amazon, no, I've left that one uh, alone uh, because 
well, I just don't have enough uh, time to devote to something like that. And once again, we're talking about small commissions. The commission percentages are very low because they're physical products. So the commissions might only be you know, five, six percent, something like that. Um, you know, so if it was a hundred dollar order, you might make five dollars, you might make seven dollars or something in that region. You know? So you need a ton of customers to make it work. So you need to be referring lots and lots of customers to Amazon really every day. And to get to that level is not easy. It certainly is not easy. But that's certainly there are some Amazon affiliates who have done very well. You know, they've built uh, quite a significant presence. But I, I, I get a bit nervous about this kind of thing where you, you, know, you put all your eggs into one basket, let's say the Amazon basket, and you, after X number of years, you end up becoming one of the top Amazon affiliates. What if Amazon changed the rule? What if they get out of affiliate marketing altogether and they no longer offer an opportunity? If you invested everything into that channel, well, you're, you're toast. Your goose has been cooked. So um, I very much take... Uh, uh, an independent stance when it comes to marketing for other companies. I am not going to be beholden to another company. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of sad when you see these network marketing MLM people with their pills, potions and lotions and they get all kind of religiously motivated. It's like, like a, the secular religion, of the, the company that they signed on with. And they, um, they become acolytes for that company. They become... Um, you know, they worship at the throne of the company and the company goes broke or they change the rules or they cut, or they cut the pay plan or half the team leaves and they're now a shadow of their former selves. And so, you know, people have put their all into supporting that company and then it's gone. No, it's not, uh, not for me, sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm very much more of an independent person and, um, you know, that's why I'm still here 10 years later and most of the people that started... Uh, in the year that I started are no longer with us. They're no longer in the industry. They got out because they couldn't make it work. And one of the reasons was because they put all their eggs in one basket and the basket didn't work out too good. Okay, now the downside is that you're on your own small commissions. I think I've given you the picture there. So certainly in dollar terms. Although with the, the digital products, the percentages are, are high, but once again, in, in bottom line dollar terms, and that's all you can bank, that's all you can take to the bank, um, well, you're looking at you know, maybe less than $20 a sale. So it's going to be hard to get out of the rat race uh, using uh, the traditional affiliate model, that's for sure. Model number two is network marketing. And the most successful networking work marketing companies are companies that have developed consumable products and typically they're going to be in the health and wellness arena or the you know the home care arena so we're talking pills potions and lotions and cleaning solutions so I'll put that one in there for Amway because they built their business originally I mean it's different now but they built their business on their cleaning products didn't they now I think they do more volume from their cosmetics and their their health in their nutritional products but uh, they all, most of their products, even a company as, as big as Amway, uh, their products are essentially consumable products, with a few exceptions. Think of other companies like Herbalife, and um, you know, there's a lot of other well-known companies out there, plus new ones that are coming on stream all the time. They will tend to be marketing consumable products, and uh, often in the, in the health and wellness sphere. Then you've got another kind of network marketing business, and that's the big ticket. And uh, big ticket programs are not a pure network marketing. They're, they're not MLM. They're not usually they don't have multiple levels and all of that. Six levels deep, you get paid on six levels deep and all that. The big ticket products generally pay most, if not all, of the money up front when the sale is made. So there's nothing, and it usually it's paid to. A couple of people. That's it. There's not. There aren't six levels. So I'm not sure what you call the. I've been marketing big ticket products for a long time, but uh, 
I'm not sure whether you'd call it a, an MLM. I don't think you should. Um, I think it's probably there's a network marketing aspect, a, you know, team building, but the person who sells the product generally gets most of the money, which is different to the t traditional MLM. So the person who sells the product to an end user, that uh, that person is going to make the commission. With big ticket, it could be a thousand dollars, could be five hundred, it could be ten thousand dollars, and maybe even more. Typically, the products are different; they're not consumable products. They're digital information products quite often. Travel. I've also marketed big ticket travel programs, like a membership program. People paid four thousand dollars, up to ten thousand dollars to join, and the commissions were very, you know, around the fifty percent mark. So uh, the big ticket model can work uh, really well in terms of generating fast cash flow and pretty good cash flow. So I've made, I've promoted a few big ticket products over the years and uh, in the, there's a, three or four of them and in every instance I've made really good money in the first month. If, yeah, the first month, I think, I don't think I've had a, a zero month when I started promoting a new program. I made money and you know, typically it was $8,000, $10,000, dollars uh, in very short time. Yeah. Now, we've got e-commerce. This is one that I can't, I, I'm just featuring it here because it is an option. Uh, it's For some people it, it might be a viable option. I don't do it. Uh, doesn't mean to say that it can't work for some people, but I don't do it. It's just, it, it, to me, it's just too messy, uh, too much work involved setting it all up, etc. But uh, I know there are a lot of people who are embracing this kind of thing. So we've got a shopping platform, and people buy direct from the site. That's basically how it is. So you can create your own platform and source your own products, or you can buy someone else's ready to go. All you have to do is promote it. That's what they say. All you have to do is promote it. Oh, that's, that is the deal. I mean, all you have to do is promote it. Goodness. That's, uh, wow, to me that's 90% of it. It's all about promotion. That's the hard part. But, uh, but anyway, they, they're your options. The upside is that uh, the, there is uh, potential to produce automated income 24-7 because you're dealing with small ticket products. So you've got a shopping portal and uh, people can be logging on or you know, jumping onto your site uh, anytime in different time zones around the world. And if, uh, if, the, if the thing is working for you, if the system is working and you've got traffic happening, a lot of traffic, you'd need a lot. Uh, well, you've got the potential to produce automated income 24-7. That's the allure. But the reality is somewhat different. Massive upfront time investment required, even if you uh, by someone else's, uh, quite often there is uh, still a lot of work to be done behind the scenes um, in terms of generating traffic, etc. The margins are small, so you probably can't justify spending money on ads. So you've got to use the organic methods, which take an age to get them to get them working. So, um, so yeah, so that, but it's a, it's another option, e-commerce. Number four, your products. Digital products is one option. Could be software. Let's say you develop your own product. Software, you're really good on the tech side. How are you going to promote it? Well, you can offer an affiliate opportunity to third parties to sell it for you. Or, or it could be and or, you uh, promote it yourself. You s create a website, you get traffic happening to the website, you, um, you you know, build a sales page, all of that, and uh, you can, you may be able to sell that product. Other option is physical products. So examples could be health and fitness, electronic products, tech products. There's lots and lots of. Uh, it could be cosmetics, your own cosmetic lineup. It could be fashion, clothes. Think of, you know, your areas of interest. Is there something that you, you're really good at? Maybe you could, or something you really love, you have a passion for. Um, you can develop your own product. Or 
you can source products and call them your own. You can brand them as your own, they're like white label. And uh, it could be a range of vitamins or skin care, weight loss, fitness, that sort of thing. And you go direct to the manufacturer and you put in an order and they'll give you, you know, a, uh, a white label product. And then you pay for all the packaging. You, that the packaging gives you the, the brand. Okay? And then you could develop a website and sell from there. So that's, uh, you know, they become your products. You may, may not have set up a factory yourself, but they are now your products. And that's how a lot of big retailers and big wholesalers work. They don't develop the products themselves. They source them and then they package them up their own name, etc. Their own brand. Now number five, your services. This is where you leverage a skill and you build a brand. We might call it packaged, knowledge, and productized services. What are the pros? The margins are, are high. You're not getting a commission, you're getting the whole cake, 100%. The gross margin, net margin might be less than that, but high margin. You're leveraging existing skills. So do you have a skill that is marketable, that is potentially potentially monetizable. Can you monetize a skill? If you've been working in a company and you've developed a skill by being with that company for many years, you can maybe package it up into some kind of a service. It could be a consulting service. It could be a productized service. You could create a training around and sell the training, like a training video or a course, or write an e-book. There's lots of things you can do can be faster to create a marketable package, particularly if you lead with consulting services first up, before you create a productized version of that service. So I've done this. I've leveraged my knowledge, I've leveraged my passion. I have a passion for marketing. So I've developed lots of different training products and courses and modules and things like that. And uh, I've written eBooks as well, uh, done a lot of video, training or develop a lot of video training content leveraging a skill leveraging a passion okay now if you start out as a consultant and offer consulting services it can be faster to create a cash flow to create a marketable package a consulting service may not just be selling your time for dollars you could create a package which include, could include X number of hours of consulting time. It could include hotline support for the first 90 days. That could take the form of um, you know, Facebook chat support. It could take the form of email support or even telephone support. So there's lots of things you can do there if you already have a skill, you already have knowledge, leverage, leverage it into a money spinner. The downside requires a high degree of self-belief. This is true. Lots of people have the skills set in place right now. They know how to solve problems in the marketplace because they've been, as I said, they've been working in traditional jobs and they've acquired these skills over many years. But taking the next step and turning it into a, an income stream does require a high degree of self-belief. Believe that you are worth it. Believe that you are worthy of people's patronage. You understand? So, uh, because you're putting yourself on a pedestal, aren't you? You're you're putting yourself out there and saying, "Hey, I am the gal. I am the man." And uh, here are the reasons why you should deal with me. And here is how I can solve your problems assuming you know what the problems are. You, you can identify what the problems are and then offer conceptual solutions, not specific solutions, because they have to pay for that, but conceptual solutions. This is how I can help you. It requires a, a fair degree of uh, self-belief, but if you have some core belief in place right now, this could be a really good option for you. I like it. Examples. Consulting as mentioned. 
masterminds. You could create a group mastermind and charge people a lower amount than what they would have to pay if they consulted with you. You might limit it to 10 people. Each person pays, I don't know, thousand dollars or five hundred dollars or something like that and they get a series of workshops live workshops one a week for whatever ten weeks four weeks six weeks something like that you could uh, do mas offline masterminds now this this recording and this presentation is about online methods but you might use the online world to find people social media etc and then run, you can find them in a targeted area and then run masterminds offline, face-to-face -face masterminds. You could do that. You could hire out a room at a hotel. I've done that before. But most people are going to want to do it online, so you do it online. You, you run a webinar, and once a week you run that webinar, and you're sharing your package knowledge. You're sharing your knowledge in a package form, in other words. You could develop a course. Courses take longer to develop, uh, although not as long as some people might think, because all you need to have in the can is the first lesson, or the first presentation, or the first PowerPoint lesson. Okay, You just need to have that one in the can, and if you had a package that delivered a weekly lesson, well, you only have to do one week at a time, don't you? And then uh, when all six lessons are complete, or whatever the number is, you now have six recordings or ten recordings and then from there you could create a membership site and charge and develop another income stream from your membership site. Lots of things you can do there. And there we have membership sites. You could charge a monthly amount for access to the membership site. But uh, for a lot of people it'll start who have this specialised skill or passion, uh, it'll start with uh, consulting and it'll fan out from there. Now if you don't have uh, any of those skills, Fine. Start by promoting somebody else's products. So, where have I made the money over the years? Well, I've definitely made the money here. Your ser my services. My, my own products, products I've developed. Consulting packages, I've charged $10,000 per person to for. Um, other training products that I've charged $500 for. Um, maybe a thousand dollars, that kind of thing. And I've also got low-end, entry-level entry kind of products. Some of them sell, sell for less than twenty dollars. Okay, so I've got the, the range there. So I've made money out of that. And before I went online, I made, I was charging big money for consulting packages in another area that I have had a skill in, not, not so much now, but and that was in real estate, putting real estate deals together and people wanted to know because we were putting a lot of them together as a, as a company, my company, with my wife and a lot of people wanted to know how we did it so we developed a training arm and then we charged people ten thousand, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 to um, access the, um, our skills and knowledge and I've made uh, a lot of money in the big ticket arena so there, if, if, you, if you need to get some cash flow happening sooner rather than later, and, and you're talking about you're wanting to create a full-time income, I would say it's, it'll come down to these two. Find some big ticket products to market, and um, the information products, to me, that's the best niche, because people are hungry for information, and they will pay, and they'll pay top dollar for it quite often if it's packaged in the right way. So you could sign on as an affiliate. I mean, some of these information products are packaged as, um, well, conferences, you know, marketing conferences, for instance. So if you're an affiliate for that company and you're positioned to do that, and you're accredited by them, you might, uh, once you learn how to promote and get traffic and all the rest of it, somebody buys a ticket for that conference, which might sell for $10,000, uh, you might make a commission of three or four thousand dollars. Could be, could be more, but um, typically that's that's how it's going to pan out. So now you're talking good commissions. You're talking well more than a thousand dollars per sign up. So I've made from as a, in terms of affiliate commissions, I've made as much as fifteen thousand four hundred dollars. I think it was fifteen thousand two hundred dollars. I sold quite a few of those packages, and I made. Fifteen thousand two hundred dollars from each person. You see, so 
You don't need to be doing too many of them before you're making a full-time income. Even if you only did one every two months and you're making 15 grand uh, and you, you didn't do anything else, you're still going to be making, uh, what, seven or 8,000 a month if you only did 15,000. One of those higher deals, I'm not saying it would be uh, appropriate for you right now, but that's how I did it and that's how I do it. Um, so, you know, I, I, I change around, I get a bit bored with one thing and then I move into something else and I go back to the first thing. But as long as the cash flow is coming in every week, that's, that's all I care about. And the second one is this one. Choose your poison, focus on one for six months. And uh, if you've chosen right, if you've chosen it properly and you learn, how, you learn the skills of how to get traffic flowing and the leads and all of that, why aren't you going to make money? You are going to make money. It's, it's highly likely, as long as you hang in there and you're a good student. Uh, and just in that regard, if you want to talk to me about how to do it uh, in more depth, I can probably help you. In fact, I know I can help you. And if you're the sort of person that uh, I might want to work with, okay, well, we can... We can talk turkey at some point, but initially, here's what I'm going to suggest. That you request a strategy session. Now, I will donate 30 minutes of my, well, I call it valuable time, and I'm, I think it is valuable time. I'll donate 30 minutes of my time to, to help anybody, is, as long as they've got a good attitude and they're open-minded to exploring different options and different ideas. I'm pretty good at this kind of thing because I've been doing it myself for so long and I've sold millions and millions of dollars with the products and services both online and offline. So I've got the runs on the board. I'm not like one of these coaches that basically they're in the business of being a coach. They're not in the business of doing business. They've never <laughs> done much <laughs> outside of coaching, right? It's a bit like uh, these, these um, celebrities who are famous for being famous. That Hilton girl and other people like that, the Kardashians, what are they good at? Okay, they've made money by being famous, fine, good luck to them. But um, I think if we're going to be generating an income online and you want to learn how to do it, you should learn from, from people or one person who, who, has, who has done it, who's, who's made plenty of money online and uh, has, uh, has a good track record. So you can book in uh, for that conversation, that, that consultation, 30 minutes. It'll be a no bull, no hype session. Uh, basically, I'll find out where you're at, what your goals are, etc., what you've been doing in the past, and then I'll come up with uh, some ideas for you. What you do with those ideas, well, that's up to you. That's your call, but... Uh, I think you could do a lot worse than having a conversation with me. I think you could do very well out of it. So um, that's my offer for you today. 30 minutes for free. It's worth several hundred dollars. Take advantage of it. There'll be a link somewhere under this video. Or you can just go to kimwillis.net and you can uh, register your interest there. There's a, I think there's a tab, Work With Kim. Or you can just request the 32 ways to get leads report, and uh, that'll I'll hear I'll learn about that, and then uh, you can reach out to me and ask for that consultation once you've uh, opted in to my follow-up system. All right, I trust you got value out of that. I'm sure you did. Five online business models that go ka-ching in the night. This is Kim Willis. Bye for now.